Praise the Lord, precious believers, precious viewers. Today, we're going to be talking about faith. And the topic of our discussion is, where is faith? Where is faith? So, I am here to tell you today. Today, I am here to tell you that faith is found in the Bible. If you are looking to increase your faith, if you want your faith to be uh, to be uh, uh, strong, you want a strong faith. You want your faith in God to be very, very uh, firm and established. Your faith, the faith that you're looking for, is found in the Bible. Many times we find that uh, believers. To even begin with the very uh, very first ones, to begin with the very first ones we read about in the Bible, the very first believers that received the Messiah, who received Christ, they asked the Lord Jesus to increase their faith. They asked him to increase their faith, you know, because they know if they had a, 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 a bigger faith, if their faith was stronger, they know they could have done, been able to do more for the Lord. They know they could have been able to do way more. They know their relationship with God would have gone to newer heights and higher, higher heights. They knew that. They knew stronger faith means, uh, means, uh, uh, means uh, uh, victory. They know when you have a stronger faith, you can do more. You can do more. You can be a better servant. You can worship the Lord better. You can have a closer relationship with God. You will have more victories. You know, you will you will have more victories to the point where you will enter the glorious kingdom of God because of your faith. So they wanted to tackle this. They wanted to the Lord to to give them a, a stronger faith, and they wanted their their faith to be increased. And then the Lord says this. He said, "If you have the faith as small as a mustard seed." And you tell this mountain to go throw itself into the sea. It will do it for you. You see? That's what the Lord told them. But I, I'm, here to ask, I'm here to answer this question. I'm here to answer this for you today. That the faith increase that you're looking for, you want your faith to increase. That faith that you want, the faith, the strong faith that you want, is found in the Bible. It is found in the Bible. The faith that you want to be in your heart, that you want it to be in your heart, and you want it to be strong. You want to stand with the Lord very strong, no matter what situation. And you want to pull out with the victory. That faith that will take you all the way to heaven, into the rapture of the church, is in the Bible. It's found in the Bible. What you have to do, all you have to do, is read the Bible and apply it to your life. If you read the Bible, if you read the Word of God in the Bible, and you apply it to your life, that is faith. That is faith. That is synonymous to faith. That is equal to faith. That is faith. Because when it's all said and done, and you are taken before the Father, before God Almighty, before His throne, before His before the white uh, the, before the white throne of judgment, before Him, where He has to decide where to bring you, either to bring you to heaven or to hell. When the Lord looks at you, He looks at your life, and He sees that you took His word in the Bible and you apply it to your life. The Lord is gonna say to you. Well done, you faithful servant. Come and inherit the kingdom of your father, which was prepared for you. He's going to tell you, he's going to accept you, he's going to receive you with a welcoming, with a welcoming, welcoming accolade. Because you took him at his word. Because you saw the Bible, the word, you saw his word in the Bible. You saw God's word in the Bible. And you took God at his word because you took the word and you apply it to your life. That is faith. That is faith. 
Because that will take you to heaven. But for the man that says he has faith because he, be, because he believes in his heart, but does not take the word of God and apply it to his life, when it's all said and done, he will be rejected. He will not be allowed to enter into the glorious kingdom of Yahweh. He will not be allowed to enter the glorious kingdom of heaven because God will, will say, your life do not measure up to my word. Your life do not measure up to the biblical standards that God set forth as the benchmark for entry into heaven. So then the question is going to be, where is that man's faith? It was in his heart, but where was it in his life? That, man, that man's faith, which he proclaims to have, was in his heart. If indeed it was in his heart, where was it in his life? How come that faith that he had in his heart did not manifest in his life? How come that faith which he proclaimed to have in his heart he did not use it in his life. How come he did not apply his faith to his life? How come he did not apply God's word to his life? Because when you read the Bible, you take the Bible and you apply it to your life, that is faith. That is faith. And so the Lord will save those who obey his word. Those who are obedient to his word, those who apply his word, his, his, the Bible, those who apply the Bible to, the, to their lives, God will save. And the word of God will be completed in their life. And the Lord will say, well done, you faithful servant. Well done. Because I gave you instructions. You followed them. You obeyed them. You, you did well. You were faithful. You were faithful. You had faith. When the Lord said, well done, you faithful servant, he's basically saying, you had faith. You had faith because you took the Bible and applied it to your life. That is the true definition of a faithful servant, of a man of God who has faith. That is the true definition of having faith. Because when you have faith in the Lord, you will take him for you will believe him. You will take him for his word. You will take him at his word. You will take him at his word and that word is in the Bible. And if you take him at his word, you will apply his word to your life. You will apply the Bible to your life completely and thoroughly. And when you do that, indeed, that is faith. So the Lord will say, well done, you faithful servant. That is what's going to separate those who enter the kingdom of God by faith and those who do not. Because those who enter the kingdom of God will know where their faith is. Faith is in the Bible. And they will take it and apply it to their life. Shalom.